I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part one of the corrosion series, Growing Dendrites in Solution. I started with a simple plating setup. I have a 600 milliliter beaker and a carbon rod. I chose carbon because I thought it wouldn't react with anything. And then there's a coil of copper wire, and the idea is to run electricity uh, through a solution in the beaker. I chose vinegar. I set up a mirror above the, uh, the beaker so that I could look at the solution as it's bubbling away without having to put my head over the beaker. I added vinegar and turned on the electric uh, power supply and I started getting bubbles. And much to my surprise, I also started getting dendrites. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's some contamination inside the carbon rod. Uh, probably is, because I think I got it out of a battery. So that might be zinc or manganese or something like that from the carbon rod. And it crawls right out of the carbon rod and across the bottom of the beaker. And it travels directly towards the copper coil. There you can see the water just barely start to turn blue, or actually vinegar just barely start to turn blue, and I'm making a lot of hydrogen. When the dendrites make it to the other side, uh, it's not that great for the reaction. Uh, what happens is uh, the electric current is then just shorted through the dendrites, and we don't get so much of a chemical reaction anymore there. Uh, it mostly just becomes a heater. I raised up the coil and the carbon rod so that uh, it wouldn't be so easy for the dendrites to just crawl across the bottom of the flask and make a short circuit. This is what it looked like uh, doing that. Um, by this time I had a lot more copper in solution so you can see the nice blue color. And I've got a lot of dendrites. I thought I might run out of contamination or whatever it was in the carbon rod. Um, but there seems to be plenty of it. And there seems to be some sort of force that is propelling the dendrites towards the uh, copper coil. Here you can see the dendrites sort of reaching out uh, to the coil. They really... Uh, look almost alive. And if you look up at the top uh, where the carbon rod is, you can see the pieces, uh, new pieces being created, uh, new dendrites, and then uh, as they go down the whole structure gets longer and it, and it gets closer and closer to the coil. Uh, the chunks fall off and they make that uh, pile down at the bottom. And now you can see the uh, new pieces still being produced and there's still quite a bit of force that propels them towards the coil. And so I ran this reaction for some time. At the end of the reaction there's the carbon rod with some copper on it. The copper coil got cleaned up really nicely and it turned this really bright shade. I took it outside, but the camera doesn't really capture how bright it is. 